Okay, thank you very much for joining, dear sisters. Let's start our prayer meeting. I uh, write you prayer request. Um, Usha, I wrote it in the chat. So everybody will know the name because it's very important to know the name and the diagnosis. So uh, we could pray for, for you, brother, healing. Okay, so uh, let's start with the Messiah second coming words. Uh, today we was uh, reading about uh, human rights. So let's read the small excerpt. Equality is born from the concept of we. It uh, does not exist when I am the center. The center must be we. You must understand this equality arises from the we centeredness in the love among we. It cannot arise from uh, self-centeredness. Unfortunately, most feminists uh, have an I-centered concept and most men who believe in traditional male superiority think the same way. They are both wrong. The correct uh, viewpoint is to advocate human rights for all people. To seek equality by putting women first uh, does not make uh, sense. The only sensible way to seek equality is to uphold the rights of everyone, centering on love. I don't favor either the feminist movement or traditional of the male superiority. Men should live for the sake of women and women should live for the sake of men. Okay, this was quotes for today. And the, let's start uh, with the um, Selaja. She usually have very good vibrations and the energy for peace. <laughs> As we are praying for 40 day peace. Uh, condition. Thank, thank you, Nicole. Uh, my prayer again starts with oh, to pass on those positive vibes to everybody who's suffering, and to pass on the positive vibes who are listening to us today in our in whatever little way we are spreading this peace. I would I would uh, keep my peace prayer. Uh, Related to what you read, equality. So I would keep it in that line today, thinking that what is required is correctly said equality of all of us. There should not be somebody who is less uh, given and the other one gets more. We, we should, in, in, in whichever gender we talk, everybody should strive to get into the same, uh, same similar stature, if not more or less, because the basics are same for all of our existence which is food, air, and water. If we do not get and clothing and shelter, if we don't get these five things, equality does not stand true. Equality does not just mean for gender, just not a re restricted gender equality, equality in terms of our existence, the sole existence. I request God to give us abundance to all those who de deserve and to everybody to survive. Do not fill the pockets of the people who are already filled. And do not minus from the people who are already in minus. Try to equalize it. Try to bring some balancing in their life so that peace can be attained. Most of the time we lose out peace is only because we do not have sufficient to survive. Or we lose our peace if we do not, we are not able to provide to our children. We don't get the best in the market. We can't eat two times ka khana. We don't get anything. That's when we lose out peace. And that would lead to uh, inhuman act, which would lead to the tremors. And that would bring about the unpeaceness, unsteadiness, what we are all going through today. The power, the peace, all these, the three peace stand for only our contentness. If we have something to survive, content with what we have, I think that's where peace can be. Uh, the whole thing of peace message or gender equality or equality in stature, if we achieve that part, we've achieved, the, we've achieved what we are striving for. Let there be peace in everybody's house. Let there be peace in whatever they're doing. And let there be peace amongst ourselves first to begin with at home and to the neighborhood and to the state and the country and the neighboring countries and globally as a whole. So I would like to end the peace uh, prayer by saying I request equality for in all sense for everybody who's listening to us so that we are able to make a little change. What we can do is only let's strive and get that equality. However, we can in whatever little manner to 
the people in and around us. Let's not boast about the excess resources we have. Let's try to fill their minimums and bring them to the stature what they are liable for. Thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you very much, Elijah. Very powerful as usual. <laughs> uh, so, Usha, could you say a prayer for peace? Uh, thank you. Um... Father God, we come before you this hour. Uh, I thank you, Lord, that I've been through the dark trials and our province has been flooded. We know there's wars around the world. We ask, Lord, for your intervention. We ask for your peace, Lord. You're a peacemaker. And right now, my God, we thank you, Lord, for even Salaja's prayer of peace, my God. We pray, Lord, let there be peace in our community. Let there be peace in our country. Let your peace prevail. There's so much of wars. There's so much of disharmony. There's so much of corruption. There's so much, Lord, of infighting. We just seek your peace. We seek your face. And Lord, even in this time, please, Father God, remember my brother who is on the ventilator. I am broken. I am bruised. And I don't even have the words. But God, my tears are my prayer today. Please intervene in a mighty way, I pray. Thank you, God. Thank you. Well, well said, Usha. We pray for your brother too. That is always there within us. We just Thank hope you. he gets some miracle happens and he comes out. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's very yeah, disheartening. Man. I never. Yeah, never okay. Wanted. I also want to pray for peace and for your brother. Please join my prayer. Thank you. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we always remember uh, you call to us to pray for the sick. So uh, we join to, today with the, um, this uh, powerful meeting and prayer from uh, three continents. I'm in Europe and uh, Salaja and uh, Asia and uh, Usha from uh, Africa. We join our hearts. We want to pray for our brother, Niresh uh, Manilafa. Manila. Yes, uh, he yes. is very good brother, and uh, you ask us to pray for the sick. So we pray for him, for his healing. We pray, uh, we join hands, we join our hearts, and uh, we pray because now he is uh, in the 100 uh, under ventilation. And uh, uh, he need uh, you miracles, dear Heavenly Parent. Uh, please, uh, with your will, Almighty, uh, heal him and also uh, save him. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, as we pray for him and we are in this um, global prayer chain meeting, we pray for peace because uh, uh, we all, uh, you children, we are suffering. So uh, you want to heal all of us and save us and bless us. So uh, we are so thankful for this. Um, we not uh, mentioned many times you uh, uh, hand, but uh, we know that uh, you are always 24 hour every second with us and you are praying for us and you are taking care of us. And there was uh, many uh, different uh, things today uh, as uh, today is the 24th of April, and uh, uh, in the Orthodox world, uh, they are believers. Uh, they are um, praying for, uh, for Jesus, that uh, Jesus was resurrected on this day, and uh, celebrating this. And uh, uh, we want to celebrate our brother. Uh, we want to um, pray for the brother healing. Uh, Niresh and uh, also for the our uh, communities, uh, cities, countries, the whole world uh, healing uh, that uh, everybody we could uh, have uh, original um, relationship, original true love receive from you, understand it and see it and uh, feel it every day, every hour, every second. Dear Heavenly Parent, please uh, receive this day. Uh, unfortunately, there is still uh, um, the war in the Eastern Europe and we pray for immediate uh, cheese fire uh, and you could do it uh, we believe in this and we want to unite uh, because you said that we're supposed to have faith 
so we want to unite with this because with faith uh, we can do move even mountains so we want to do this and uh, we want to invest uh, all our faith in um, our brothers and sisters and their uh, healing uh, dear heavenly parent please receive this uh, day and uh, lead us tomorrow tomorrow will be another day and we will feel another uh, type of care from you as and also uh, tomorrow we want to be even more grateful than today for everything that dear heavenly parent we pray for peace we pray for healing and we pray for blessing for all seven billions plus people on the earth and also for our ancestors in the the billions of soul in the spiritual world because most of them uh, they um, influence our life with their ideas with their um, feelings and uh, we see that they will all want to be resurrected in this uh, uh, second coming time but um, th they have so much problem and only we could uh, inspire them to not fear and to not fight but uh, to live and through love dear heavenly parent we pray for this for total salvation and also please uh, uh, please 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 um, we pray one more time for our brother nearest in south africa uh, give him yes, Lord. healing yes, and, I, I say this uh, report, uh, this prayer in my name, I think, I Saint Nicholas family. Uh, adieu, amen, amen, amen. Amen. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Usha. Thank we will you. continue to pray. I will send it uh, globally, this uh, prayer request also, in our prayer list. And, uh, um, thank you, Nicole. That was so elaborate. You, you cover everything what we forget, and that covers up the <laughs> prayer in peace. When we yeah. restrict ourselves to one motto, you cover everything. That's the whole idea of this. Stay prayer. strong for God. That's yeah, important. Well, let's be strong. Yeah, we need to be strong. When you Thank are, you for you this strong, wonderful. You have thing. good belief that uh, God could interfere, you know. <laughs> Please. Uh, yeah, yeah. Without, without belief, we can't survive. Yeah, and we. There's nothing we, else we can help you. us. We are with you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Same time, please. <laughs> Usha, oh. take care and be brave. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.